Okay. Okay. Today we're going to look at quadratic equations. Quadratic is about means when you see an equation with this x to the second power in it, x squared, uh, ax squared in it, it's quadratic. This is called the quadratic term. And you might have some x's in there plus bx. You can have plus uh, b can be zero. And you add a number or a constant. That's what c is. You could add, but it also could be zero. The number in front of that squared is a. And we use the letter a for that. It's the coefficient, the number in front of x squared. b is always the number in front of x. So the order can get different. Don't get confused with the a, b, and c. c um, is the constant, the number that's added or subtracted, and it could be zero. When we put it in standard form, and you have to put things in standard form, you put the x squared first, then the x, then the c. Um, you need to know this terminology. You know that if you're really clear on it, uh, it makes it a little bit easier to do questions, a lot easier. An expression is a term or group of terms consisting of numbers, variables, and the basic operators, um, plus, minus, times, the terms are separated by positive and negative. An equation is just a mathematical uh, statement when two expressions are equal. If, you, if you've got an equals, it's an equation. When you have greater than or less than, or greater than or equal, or less than or equal, it's a relationship. It's called an inequality between two expressions. A solution is anything that will make an equation true a value or set of values. It could be more than one thing that satisfy the problem or state, the equation, the sentence, I guess you could call it. But a root of an equation, um, it's the value that's going to make the formula equal zero. The formula, if the formula equals zero, we call it a root. I used to think roots and solution, a root is a solution, but if it makes it zero, we call it a root. Now, you may uh, remember from grade nine and 10 and that we did these things called parabolas. And parabolas are quadratic equations. So here's the basic one, y equals x squared. Now, only one value makes it zero. We call it, we say it has one root. And when you graph the parabola, here's y equals x squared graph. It'll only touch the x-axis in one place. So the roots are how many times it touches the x-axis. If you sketch y equals x squared minus 4, maybe you remember from grade 10, you sketch it, it looks like this. There are two places where it crosses the x-axis. It has two roots, two um, values that will make it equal to 0. 2 times 2 squared minus 4 or negative 2 squared minus um, which is positive 4 minus 4. Those are called the roots. And if you think of quadratic equations, if we graph them, you know, set them as y equals and they become functions, they're parabolic. They make para parabolas. Sometimes nothing makes it true, and the parabola never touches the x-axis. If you had x squared plus x plus 1, there's no number, you, real number that you can put in here that will um, ever make it equal to zero. So we say it has no real roots. This is real important, so take a close look at it. We did this in grade 10 before. We did this thing where we had to factor. Say you had a squared plus 2a equals zero. You factor out the a, you make it a times 2a plus 2. a times a is a squared, a times 2 is 2a. And then you can set both of these things equal to zero. So one of your solutions is a equals zero. The other one is a plus two equals zero. Well, you subtract two. We have two different roots here. People get confused by this simple one sometimes. Usually you've got a trinomial. Here you multiplied, you got x squared, you got minus three x. We subtract 10. We have to make sure we put it in standard form. Then we factor. We put down two brackets. X times X is X squared. These two numbers must multiply to equal minus 10, but combine to equal minus 3X. And minus 5 times X and X times 2, that makes it work. 
um, that so you have to learn how to factor this trinomial then you set them both equal to zero x minus five equals zero and x plus two equals zero if either bracket equals zero when you multiply it'll make it true so there's two different answers x equals five and x equals minus two you should notice that when you're looking at it here you can go straight to your answer it's the opposite of the answer it says x minus five the the solutions are the opposite sign. X plus 2, the answer is X minus 2. Let's look at two questions that are a little bit harder. If you have 2X squared minus 5X, you subtract 12, put it in standard form. Then 2X and X is the only way you're going to get 2X squared. You try the different combinations of numbers that equal um, 12. You're trying to get minus 5X. And 2X times minus 4 is minus 8X. 3 times x is positive 3x minus 8x plus 3x. That makes it work. Now you have to set 2x plus 3 um, equal to 0 and x minus 4 equals 0. Well, x equals 4 is easy here. When you solve this, you subtract 3 and then divide by the number in front of 2. So you'll get minus 3 halves. There's a quick way to always get the right answer. It's always this number over this number and the opposite sign. So 3 over 2 and the opposite sign. Okay, here's one that's just a little bit trickier. You've got 4 minus x times 1 minus x equals 18. Well, you multiply it out. 4 times 1 is 4. You've got minus 4x minus 1x. That's minus 5x. Minus x times minus x is plus x squared. I brought the 18 over because we're supposed to put it in standard form. You have to make 0 on the right side. 4 minus 18 is minus 14. There's your x squared. There's your minus 5x. Now I put down two brackets. I'm going to try and factor this trinomial. Well, 2 times minus 7 is minus 14. And minus 7x on the outside, 2 times x, 2x on the inside, that makes minus 5x when you put it together. x times x, that gives you the x squared. The opposite of these two numbers is the solution. Okay, hopefully that helps. I've made uh, nine questions here, and they all come from past control tests. So they're all um, like what you might see on an exam. And what we, the last seven or eight years of control tests, these are um, questions we had to do, solving a quadratic equation by factoring. And we've got a memo with it. We've got the whole thing. So you should be all right.